How can I tell if my horse's teeth need floating? Really common question. If your horse is giving you any problems on the bit, that is the number one reason to check the teeth. Check the teeth before you check anything else. You also have saddle, you have lameness, you have um, bit issues, all these things. But take care of the basics first, and floating the teeth is certainly one of the basics. I have several trainers who uh, they'll take horses in for training, and the first thing they do is they have the teeth checked to make sure they're up to code. Um, some of the things that a horse will do when it's hurting from the mouth is to tilt the head to one side or object to having pressure put on the bit. Uh, they're stiff to one side, supple to the other. Uh, when you ask them to flex at the pole, uh, they object, they throw their head up, they balk. Uh, all these things, anything that's not normal. If you just put in your head what would be normal, which is a soft and relaxed horse on the bit that doesn't object at all, um, that's what your goal is. And if you have anything less than that, then the teeth probably need to be taken care of. Eating grain, lots of horses with bad teeth eat just fine. And lots of horses uh, with good teeth are slobs and they spill everywhere. So there's not really good correlation. But if you have a horse that's sloppy, uh, have the teeth checked out first before you start saying, well, he's a slob and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, but the other concept I'd like to go over right now is prevention. Uh, in, my, in my experience, most horses need their teeth done somewhere between 6 months and 12 months. Because their teeth continually are erupting and they chew so many times in, in a day, they actually wear their teeth down and they create sharp points rather quickly. If they're under five years of age, they have soft teeth, and those teeth can get sharp extremely quickly. Some of those horses need it done in three months, especially if they have baby teeth coming out and new teeth coming in. Um, some of those caps or the baby teeth break. When they break, they create extremely sharp points, or they hang and they go into the cheek. There's all sorts of reasons why a horse under five years of age should be checked more frequently. If your horse is giving any signs of problems, even if it's only five months or four months after the teeth are floated, your horse may be one of those special horses that need it more frequently. And sometimes when I do a horse for the first time, they need more frequent floating until they find their groove. And that usually takes about four floats or two years of floating before they figure out how to chew properly and they don't abnormally wear their teeth. So that pretty much covers how I know when a horse is teeth need doing. One, if they've never been done. Two, if it's been over six months and certainly over a year, the teeth probably need doing. I don't even uh, accept checking these horses. I tell these people, yes, I'd be happy to check them, but I'll guarantee you if it's been at least that long, the teeth need floating. Um, when they hit over 25 years of age, then when they hit over 25 years of age, uh, a lot of horses need less frequent floating because the teeth are really hard. So I uh, hope that answers all your questions on that one and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.